Hi everyone, in this series we're looking at how to add inputs into a vMix production. An input is any element that you want to include into your vMix production. So for example, a camera, a video, an image, or audio. In this video we're looking at PowerPoint presentations. vMix allows you to input a PowerPoint presentation and control it directly from the interface. In order to use PowerPoint, you will need to have PowerPoint installed on your vMix computer. Please keep in mind that audio and video embedded in PowerPoint is not supported in vMix. You'll need to use the desktop capture input if you would like to use PowerPoint in this way. Okay, so in order to add an input into vMix, just go down to the add input menu in the bottom left, then select PowerPoint from the left menu. Then browse for your PowerPoint presentation. Select it and then click open. Once you've done that, just click OK. Now vMix has loaded your PowerPoint slides and now you can start using PowerPoint as an input in vMix. Now you can use your PowerPoint presentation like any other input. Just click on the cog icon to open up the settings. You can change the name, aspect ratio, category, mouse click action, sharpen, mirror, just like you would for any other input. The input behavior section down here is very similar to adding videos except the audio. As PowerPoint audio is not supported in vMix, the audio setting won't have any effect. The other behaviors such as auto play, auto restart, and auto pause will work with your PowerPoint presentation. Now you can use the menu on the left to change other settings such as color adjust, color key, position, that sort of thing. Um, we cover all of these in our other tutorial videos. Once you're done, just click the X to save the settings. Now we have our PowerPoint presentation ready to go in vMix. We can use the controls manually to go from slide to slide like this, from next to previous. Or we can set up a slideshow for our presentation. Now if you want to create a time slideshow for your presentation, just right click the input. So you can use here, click here and select slideshow settings. The slideshow settings screen allows you to change the slideshow settings for your PowerPoint presentation. So the transition refers to how long each slide is displayed for. The effect is the effect between each slide and the duration is how long that effect lasts for. So for example, in my presentation, I want the slide to display for four seconds. So I can use this drop down menu and four seconds isn't there. So I'm just gonna type in four here. I want the effect to be a, a fly effect between the slides and I want that um, effect to last one second. Then click the X button when you have finished. Okay, so by default, uh, PowerPoint presentations will loop in vMix. So when it gets to the end, it will restart. If you don't want your PowerPoint presentation to loop, um, just untick loop here. Okay, so if we wanna use our PowerPoint presentation, we'll just need to we'll bring this across into the output and then we'll hit play. So the slide should last for four seconds, bring in a fly effect for one second and then this slide will last for four seconds. We can pause it by hitting the pause button. We can restart by hitting the restart button. And then if we wanted to manually go through the slides, we can do that also. Also remember that your PowerPoint presentation can be controlled from wherever you see the input. So if we bring this up to here to our preview, we can control slideshow settings from here. We can go forward and back. We can play and pause and restart our uh, PowerPoint presentation. Also, if we have something else in the um, preview here, we can actually play and pause this from here also, or set up our slideshow um, ready to go from this section here. And within the interface, you can also use the slide bar to jump to different PowerPoint slides, like so. Now one last thing, you can also use the slideshow setting screen to quickly jump to a slide. Just right click it to bring up the menu. And then you can choose any of these slides to quickly jump to it. So for example, if you had a lot of slides and you need to go back to a slide to make a point, you could quickly go back to one and select it. You can also use this to manually select slides. So if you didn't have them in order and you wanted to use it that way. So that's how you add a PowerPoint presentation to your vMix production. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.